Yeah, Colin, I'll ask you for your reaction to uh, to the game against Braver Beavers in the League Cup today. No one really wants to lose on penalties, and, uh, and sadly it was it's Eaton Wicker who lost out today. Yeah, unfortunately it was one of those days. I think um, you, in the first half in particular, we had our chances. Um, the boys played great. Um, you know, last week when we played against South Coat, we had a really good performance and the, the team kind of, uh, you know, carried on from there. I think, you know, we had our chances in the first half um, in particular. Uh, and even in the second half, we managed to create a few chances, hit the crossbar, you know. Um, but it's, it's one of those things we, you know, we played uh, Riverside a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, they, they unfortunately on the receiving end of going out on, uh, on penalties. And we're on the receiving end today. So, yeah, very disappointed. But, you know, Braywood, are, they're, they're a great team. And I said it in my post-match sort of uh, uh, comments when we last played and we, we lost against them 4-3. I think they're a great addition to the EBFL. And, you know, I've just said that to yourself as well. So, um, I think, you know, if we can get more teams like that down there, I think it's uh, only good for the league, yeah. I thought today it had a real cut feel about it, end-to-end -end with chances at either side and maybe an extra time eating we had the, had the chances to, to nick it. Yeah, again, it's just it's frustrating. I think um, we really, uh, you know, we're creating the chances, but um, and I think it's been kind of a thing from our season, pretty much. We're creating the chances, but we're not really finishing them. And uh, I think, you know, other, other teams would would have those chances and probably probably take those chances and, and come away with a result. I think over the 120 minutes, I think, you know, it would have been nice to have come away with a, with a win. I think we deserved it probably over the over the 120 minutes. But as I say, when it comes down to penalties, uh, it's not really much you can do. Just, uh, you know, from the keeper's point of view, you pick a side and hope, hope they pick the right side and get something on it. But, um, and if, you know, we uh, didn't have our main striker here this week, uh, Lex. Uh, he's, uh, in, holiday in Cyprus so a little bit disappointing because uh, you know if you lose a player like that it obviously has a bit of an impact on the team but you know that's off to Braywood I think you know hopefully they'll do well in the cup and sadly it says there's not to be in the, in the league cup today but there is still a lot of football to play over the coming months is there anything that you're particularly looking forward to or, or targeting to until the end of the season well just more of the same really I mean we've um, luckily in the last couple of weeks we've signed um, two new wingers uh, Matty and Charlie Charlie came on today uh, had about 10 or 15 minutes, then went down with an ankle injury, unfortunately, so didn't really get to see what he's capable of. Uh, Matty's, Matty came down and played last week. Uh, he's coming back from a long-term injury, so, um, you know, he, he did he did about 45 minutes today, so I was really pleased about that. Um, I think, you know, just need to keep going, you know. It was, uh, I saw him, like, playing Southcote last week. Uh, when it beating them 3 0, we, you know, we're really, really pleased with that, and it was a bit of a turning point in our season because it's been pretty tough up until now. So, I think if we can get some more points in the league, then uh, and we've got President's Cup in a couple of weeks against uh, Frontline, I believe. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to finishing the season on a more positive, uh, more positive note.